What's up guys? Today we're coming at you with a Odd Eyes replay video. But before we jump into this video, we want to say thank you guys for all the help and support that you've been giving us. We're trying out a few new things on this video. So be sure if you like the content and things that you're seeing and you're hearing, end up hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and make sure you leave a comment below to let us know any suggestions, comments of what you think should be changed or any suggested input that you have that's positive. But let's jump into this video and let's see what we're coming at you with. Okay guys, for this first, first duel, we ended up opening almost perfect. And when I say almost perfect, we came open with, you know, a searcher, a way to get Dark Worm into the graveyard. And we also ended up having a Sky Iris, which that's a very essential way for us to end up getting to our Arc Pendulum Dragon very, very fast. So we end up using our Dragon Shrine, dumping our Dark Worm into the graveyard, end up using Dark Worm's effect to special summon him back, which it just gets the whole ball rolling. Once you get one Pendulum monster on the field, you just won't be able to try to get two of them out there so you can get your Electrum. So we go ahead and activate our Sky Iris. We end up trying to get our uh, Spiral Flame activated, which speaking of Spiral Flame, it'd be really good if Konami ended up making, you know, the manga uh, effect for the Phantom Dragon, making it so that instead of destroying a card, it'd be just like uh, Spiral Flame where we get to destroy a card. But instead of searching a card on the secondary effect, we end up having to get to draw a card. If you like that, Leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. Let us know what you think about that. But we end up activating our Art Pendulum. We end up getting, you know, some stuff on the field. We activate some effects. We end up getting two Pendulum Monsters on the field. And that's kind of what we want to do. We want to be able to get that Electrum out there as fast as possible. Something that's very essential for the decks. Because you're not going to be able to open up perfect every game. But if you can, and you can style on your opponent a little bit, that's the whole key to it. But we got our Electrum on the field. We got the effect to end up kicking another one into the extra deck. We activate a low scale. We activate our Electrum effect to pop. And that's going to help us to get one of our Personas back to hand. Get that free little draw. And just be able to start setting up our board so we can, you know, get that major pin summon. So we can start doing some crazy nutty plays on the opponent. So what we're going to do is we end up going to go and selecting both of our personas both of our uh pendulum dragons and we're gonna just throw everything onto the field and say hey sir what you gonna do with this so we go ahead and get both of our all of our monsters onto the field and this is gonna be able to let us so be able to set up for our xyz summon so we can get our absolute dragon onto the field and by doing that it's gonna help us to be able to get our link monster so we can go into our zephyr metatron so as you see we go into our odd eyes absolute from there we're going to end up going from odd eyes absolute into our zephyr metatron by sending our electrum to the graveyard our absolute to the graveyard like i said absolute effects going to go off it's going to allow us to get our main boss monster our Odd Eyes Vortex, which we got a good little negate going on board right now. We got our Vortex, we got two Personas, and we have a, another monster in Zephyr Metatron, which is very good. We put the bluff down, just, you know, sneak out the opponent. And most opponents don't like to see a field like that. So we end up passing to our opponent. We want to see what they can do. He ends up trying to Cosmic Cyclone, but he forgets about the Sky Rush, and that cost him the game. So... We go on to the next game, and this hand, we're going against Dinos. This is not a hand that you want to see when you go against Dinos. This is a very poor hand. You have no searcher to be able to get to one of your Arc Pendulum Dragons. Luckily, he didn't go off on us, so I'm looking at my hand, and the hand looks like trash, but I do see a way to end up making so that I can make something with the hand. We end up having our Odd Eye Synchron. Go ahead and activate it. Go ahead and activate a low scale. That way we can at least pin some into the field and to be able to at least get some monsters on board. So we just go ahead and pin summon both of our Dark Worms to the field. That's better than nothing. <laughs> but like I said, I've played the deck long enough. I know some of the ins and outs of the deck and that's gonna be able to help me to make a board. 
that most players wouldn't make considering the hand that we had but we end up go ahead and getting our dark worm search getting that gate zero go ahead and go into our electrum and this is where the ball starts rolling for us we go ahead and get that electrum effect send the arc pendulum to the graveyard activate the effective electrum pop our odd eye synchron and that's just going to be able to let us get that arc pendulum to the graveyard luckily on that draw we got the sky iris and that's what's going to start opening the game up for us as you see we use activate sky hours pop the persona get the search of one of our uh dragons and then that's going to end up letting us get to our arc pendulum effect to allow us to be able to special summon our new card our phantasm dragon this guy is good i'm telling you guys phantasm dragon is off the chain but from there we're looking at our hand still and we see that, so like I said, we don't have absolute, so we're gonna go and use our dissolver, and we're gonna end up getting the vortex dragon onto the field. We wanna make sure we get at least one good negate, so we're just gonna go ahead and pitch cards from the hand, get that odd eyes vortex to the field, which is gonna be able to help us get a negate on board, which is gonna be useful. We do not want to spin back this dinosaur. <laughs> this is something I was sitting here looking at the pick, and I was like, I don't want him to resummon that thing again, get some more searches. So we just sit there and we're just going to do for major damage. We use our Phantasm effect. Use it to drop the attack down for every Pendulum monster that's in the graveyard. So he's going to take 3,000 damage there. The 25 and then the 18 from Electrum. I was sitting here thinking about summoning the uh, Phanta uh, Phantom Dragon. And then going into our Red Eyes uh, Dragon to let him burn himself. But I was like, if I do that, he's just going to Kaiju me. So I just sit there and I'm thinking it out through myself and I was like, you know what? That wouldn't be the best play. I don't want to get my monsters kaiju. So I just pass turn and we're going to see what the opponent can do. He does end up kaiju with me. So as you see, that was the best play just not to go ahead and go into that. He ends up getting the uh, dino wrestler, but I think once again, the opponent forgot about Sky Iris. Sky Iris, he's going to have to pop it first, which he did have a lot of the answers for it, but he went into the wrong sequence, I believe. He ends up dark hole in the field. Art Pendulum effect's gonna activate. We're just gonna bring that vortex right back, baby. So, guys, if you end up doing that, remember, get that vortex back. And as he tries to do another search, he ends up, it's gonna be too much for him. Vortex is just gonna go ahead and negate that. We're gonna spin Phantasm back and just gonna pretty much push him back to a minus state. He's gonna still, you know, think it out, but after that, that's pretty much it, you know. He just sit there and he just pretty much grinded himself out. He ended up putting too much resources in trying to wipe my field. If he maybe would have tried to dark hole force, baited it out some more, maybe it would have been a little bit easier for him. But that was it for him. All right, in this last duel, we end up going first again. And this is a pretty good hand. We end up getting to get to our Skyrim's first turn. This is something that's very crucial. We end up activating our Sky Iris. We're going to end up go ahead and go in for our search for our chronograph sorcerer bringing out our time magician special summit to the field we want to get that electron play out there as fast as possible we end up activating the low scale we end up then activate uh dualist alliance to get our search we're going to get that art pendulum that's what we need go ahead and activate it activate our sky iris effect go ahead and get that pop and i seen that opponent had something right there you know, I was trying to bait out to see if they had the Ogre or Ash or something like that. So I knew they had something, but they just kept letting it go. Arc Pendulum effect is going to go off, allowing us to get our search that we want to get. Get us another Pendulum Monster on the field, which that's the key thing that we want right now. We go ahead and special summon our Persona. Persona Dragon's on the field, so we're just going to go ahead and go into our election from here. And, you know, start getting those little free small pluses that we want to make. Heavy foes, Metal Foes Electrum is going to activate. It's going to end up sending. Oh, he ends up hitting us finally with that stinking card. And I was sitting here. I was like, man, Electrum's no good now. It's okay. Go ahead and activate our Pendulum Scales. We're going to end up Pendulum Summon for three. We're going to get both of our Personas onto the field. And we're going to get one of our big dragons on the board. And, you know, sometimes it happens like that. You know, you're going to get ogred. You're going to get ashed. And sometimes you got to be able to play around that the best you can. 
you're not gonna always gonna get that perfect feel with the perfect combo and that's the main reason why we want to show you these replays say show you that you got to take the hand that you got sometimes you're not gonna have that best hand sometimes you're not gonna have what you really want to get and you got to be able to figure out a way to get around and that's gonna come with time playing the deck getting a little bit more experience with the deck so as we end our turn we end up with two personas on board a phantom dragon on board and he's done and we find out we're playing invoker so we're like man this is like bad so they end up getting the search for the alistair and i'm like well if he does go ahead and drop something crazy we at least gonna have two negate so i'm gonna have to be able to bait out something he gets the alistair he gets the summon he gets the search he gets the fusion card and we're like okay Oh, and he'd be like, oh man, Desires, where's my Ash at? Wish I had me an Ash so I can go ahead and get you to minus that nine. But the impermanence, is, it, it didn't mess us up a little bit, but it's okay. And then I didn't expect him to have the Galaxy Soldier. And I was like, oh man, he's starting to get them crazy searches on us. So he's going to get way deep. I seen him pitch a um, uh, Cyber Dragon Core to the graveyard too. I was like, oh man, this is going to get shady. But he goes into the Link Monster, which that's cool. When he goes into the Fusion... I said, okay, we're going to bait him out. We're going to see what he's got here. So he goes into his fusion. He brings out the big boy. And I was like, okay, this is going to be good. So whenever he went to activate, to spin back, I go ahead and activate one of our Persona Dragons because I wanted to bait that effect. It worked. He ends up pitching, and I wanted to activate the other one. And because of that, it ended up costing him the duel because he knew what happened. But that is it for it guys if you like this video please hit the comments down below let us know what you think leave us any suggestions be sure to gallic gun the like button if you're new hit the subscribe button let us know what you think of this new video but guys thanks for all the support we're out